Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference Boy YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, you better be manifesting, planning, and preparing for a better one because it's surely coming to you guys for sure. All right, so jumping right into it, you guys. Today's Tuesday, so you know, as I announced earlier on this week, uh, I was going to be giving you a daily content schedule. So on Tuesday, it's going to be posting of social awareness. So for this social awareness vlog, uh, this is going to be in honor of uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You know, we just started October, so let's start it off right uh, in honor of October for, uh, excuse me, for Breast Cancer Awareness um, month and for those who are breast cancer survivors and those who have lost their battle to breast cancer, uh, this one is for you guys. And so uh, last year, um, I did a vlog dedicated to it. I titled it "Mamas and Her Tatas," and uh, this time around, I want to say I want to call it or title it uh, this vlog uh, "Say the Tatas," if you will. So um, yeah, going deeper and further into it, you guys, I want to hit you guys. You know, I like to give you some educational uh, back on it um, with anything that I bring to you guys so uh, like no other um, with the breast cancer I found in doing my research uh, some fun interesting facts I'd like to share with you guys uh, and, and as well as just explaining uh, just a little bit about what breast cancer is and starting off um, basically breast cancer or cancer breast cancer if you will is just a, another form of cancer cell that Formed in the person's body and can take over and spread to and ultimately uh, kill that person uh, if not treated or uh, caught in time. Um, breast cancer, um, you can show up in a person's, uh, of course, their breasts and the change of texture, shape, a color, uh, bloody discharge around their nipples uh, area, if you will. Um, and breast cancer can be treated through chemo, radiation. Uh, surgical uh, or holistics. Uh, some people like to take the holistics route and uh, to to cure them themselves. Um, some interesting facts that I found on uh, the National Breast Cancer uh, Foundation uh, organization uh, website. Excuse me, the National whatever. Excuse me, not, not whatever, but you know what I mean. Uh, Breast Cancer Foundation Inc. website. I found that uh, every two minutes, a uh, person is diagnosed with breast cancer. Excuse me, breast cancer. And in 2022, uh, one in eight women in the U.S. Uh, will develop breast cancer. That's 13 percent of the population of the female population in the U.S. that will develop um, breast cancer. Um, a lot of people don't believe this, but men can actually develop breast cancer and such. And it's fact that uh, they found that um, 2,710 men uh, have been diagnosed with breast cancer. And out of those uh, 2,730 men uh, died or will die, excuse me. <laughs> um, let's see what else would I found in 2022 uh, about... 287,000 uh, new cases of breast cancer uh, were diagnosed. So that's a lot of people, man. Um, out of those cases, around 43,000 uh, women died uh, from breast cancer, unfortunately. Um, a little light in the tunnel is that 65% uh, of breast cancer diagnoses uh, were caught in the first stages of that, so they were able to treat it and beat it and that leads to uh, my another fact that I found uh, 3.8 million uh, breast cancer survivors in the U.S. so shout out to you guys out there surviving and kicking cancer's ass. Um, second, uh, excuse me, not secondly but another fact that I found that in women uh, breast cancer is the second highest cancer killing uh, skin of cancer being the first then second cancer, excuse me, second, uh, breast cancer being the second killer uh, for women when it comes to cancers. 30% um, of women in the U.S. Uh, in 2022 uh, will develop or uh, be diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, so it also with this leads me to uh, my, my uh, mission today to uh, advocate and advertise for women out there to go and get mammograms and uh, help detect these uh, uh, excuse me, detect breast cancer early on stage so that you can battle it and beat it uh, and, and kick his ass and have it to never come back uh, early on. 
And so it's important for women, you know, that are 35 and up uh, to go and have a yearly mammogram. Uh, and again, to check your local listings, do your own research and find, you know, what plan of action works best for you when it comes to, you know, proper care and treatment for your body. I do know in the state of Texas, they do offer uh, free mammograms for women who are eligible for it. And so when I come of age, I definitely do plan on uh, going to give a mammogram. However, you don't have to wait uh, for, uh, as a woman, you don't have to wait uh, for you to become eligible to go and do a mammogram. You can also give yourself self mammograms. Um, if for those who are interested, you definitely can uh, look it up and do your own research and find videos that will show you or give you tutorials on how on how to do you know self uh, mammograms. But I won't have that here for you guys. Uh, only videos that I do have for you guys. Um, I think it is, yeah, this video does show, I'm sorry, excuse me, uh, it does show uh, you guys about, talks about breast cancer and uh, mammograms and what you can do or how to give, give yourself a, a, a self-breast check. So be advised, this is for a mature audience only, you guys. And so before, without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Check out my video uh, in regards to uh, breast cancer awareness and uh, self-mammogram checks. This is for educational purposes only, so don't um, get upset. Uh, as well as uh, in dedication for those who have lost their battle to cancer, I'll also do a 10-second mo ten moment of silence for them as well. Uh, and then I'll come back on and then I'll give you guys a little bit more about what's going on in the difference world and then we'll take it from there, yeah? So without further ado, check it out. Breast cancer is the most common cancer affecting women in Singapore. It is estimated that 1 in 14 women before the age of 75 will develop breast cancer in her lifetime. You can keep a lookout for breast abnormalities starting with a visual examination of your breast with your arms by your side in a neutral position in front of a mirror. Look for any of the following. Changes in the shape and size of one breast, dimpling or puckering of the breast skin or nipple, persistent rash or change in the skin around the nipple, nipple inversion, retraction, bleeding or unusual discharge, skin redness or soreness of the breast, accentuated veins of the surface of the breast, unusual swelling of one upper arm. Adopt the following two positions. Raise your arms above or behind your head. Press your hands on your hips and tense your chest muscles. These two positions allow for a closer inspection of the following. Changes in the shape and size of one breast, dimpling or puckering of the breast skin or nipple. To feel for changes in your breasts, underarm and collarbone areas more accurately, do so by lying down because the breast tissue spreads out evenly across your body. This makes it easier to feel for lumps. What you should look out for? A lump? swelling or thickening in the breast or underarm area, any enlarged limb nodes at the underarm and above the collarbones. Lying down. How to examine your breasts when lying down. Elevate your right shoulder by placing a folded towel or pillow underneath. Extend your right elbow outwards and place your right hand under your head. Use the pads of your three middle fingers and apply pressure to feel your breast tissue in a circular motion. Use three varying pressure levels, light, medium and firm, to feel for all the breast tissue from the skin level to tissues closest to the muscles and ribs before moving on to the next area. Examine the whole breast systematically in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction down over your nipple with three varying pressure levels in a circular motion. To check for lumps at your underarm area, put your arms by your side. Start in the hollow of your underarm and move towards your breast making overlapping small circular motion. To check above the collarbone, 
use light pressure and move in a circular motion. Repeat the same steps on your left side. How often should you perform breast self-examination? The best time to perform a self-examination is about a week after the start of your menstruation. It is more effective to perform on the same day of each month if you are no longer menstruating, pregnant, breastfeeding or have breast implants. It is important to understand that breast self-examination can complement breast cancer screening but it is not a substitute for it. Most lumps or changes in the breast are not cancerous. But as a precaution, it is advisable to consult a doctor as soon as possible. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that uh, video as well as uh, the moment of silence we had for those who've lost their battle to breast cancer. Um, may you guys rest in peace and you live forever in our hearts. Um, again, for those out there, especially the women, uh, all women, not just black women, white women, but all women of color, you know, race, creed, background, gay, straight, uh, making sure you know you keep your health in check physical health in check you guys by doing you know annual checkups and going to the doctor not just with breast checkup with this will women's checkup overall uh, making sure we stay on there and doing what we have to do to keep ourselves our physical selves our mental our spiritual emotional keep it in check because know that I'm pretty sure you know we women you know we're powerful we have people depending on us day in and day out and so I know it's plenty of women out there that have people depending on them and that need them and so making sure you guys self-care and keep it in tune with that and keep it in check with that making sure you're taking care of yourselves physically and so by going to the doctors you know having regular and annual checkups that ties into it you my queen so make sure ladies that you guys are doing what you guys have to do or ladies have to do <laughs> and such men as well but uh this is for the ladies and so uh don't worry my next uh, vlog or next month uh we'll do the november for those uh, men with the prostate cancer but right now this is for my ladies and so uh, again just reaching out to you gloves and just reminding you guard ladies that you know you're queens and y'all have crowns on your heads and don't ever forget it and so with that being said we're going to move on uh, making sure you guys to like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and be sure to share this vlog with others i do appreciate all the love and support that i am getting you guys as well as don't forget be sure to go to my website differencewell.net and get my book it is out uh, here it is right here what if a controversial paradigm shift Again, a book written to encourage and form thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And this, again, is intended for a mature audience only. So if you can't take the heat, then do not bother coming to this kitchen, you guys. But if so, head on over to differencewell.net and get your copy, yeah? Uh, what else we got coming up for you guys? Oh, also, disclaimer, um, I did say that I was going to drop my confessions of a former foster kid vlog for you guys. However, um, oh, emotionally, I'm not there right now. Every time I talk about it, I get choked up and I'm just trying to make sure, you know, I get, you know, in the right position to where I'm able to share with you guys and, and not be able to go off, off track with it. You know what I mean? So it's coming as well as I just thought it'd be better, you know, with the beginning of it being October, we could start off in a positive manner with, you know, breast cancer awareness. And so um, maybe next uh, Tuesday, I'll share that with you guys. We'll see uh, as well as uh, what else we got coming. So tomorrow I'll be dropping uh, my podcast, my part two podcast with the Ron with Let's Talk About It podcast. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. You guys, that's coming. That's ready for you guys. 
So uh, again, don't forget like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. You guys, again, you can check me out, not just on YouTube, but my Facebook, my Twitter, Instagram, as well as my website, differentsworld.net. You can go there and book me for any type of motivational speaking event that you'd like for me to be a part of. I'm free of charge as of now. <laughs> Definitely go to my website, again, differentsworld.net, and book me, uh, and I'll be happy to, you know, oblige you guys. Yeah. What else we got on the agenda, guys? Mental health check real quick. Let's do that. Uh, again, for those out there that are feeling, you know, any type of mental anguish, uh, being, you know, depression, anxiety, feeling su suicidal, you know, dealing with bullying, anything, any anything, you know, going through addiction or recovery or, you know, feeling like they want to relapse, whatever, you know, just know that it is okay to not be okay, but never, never, ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help whatever that may mean to you. If you need it, if you know somebody who needs these resources, please share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can go online, or excuse me, you can text 988 or 741741. For those who prefer to go online, you can go to mentalhealthishealth.us or you can go to in counseling for those who are outside the U.S. That is spelled E N C O U N S C L I N G dot com. And again, just remember, it is okay to not be okay, but never sit there and not be okay. Okay. All right, you guys. So <laughs> moving and close out uh, difference world vlog uh, for this one. Again, um, thank you guys for all the love and support. Uh, for watching and be sure to share with you guys in honor for those for breast cancer awareness uh, and again rest in peace to those who have lost their battle with uh, breast cancer and big shout out to those who are fighting their battle and, and keep uh, fighting the good fight and kicking cancer's ass my thoughts and prayers are with you all and your families as well and for those out there, again, that's feeling they're destined for greatness and meant for it in life, you remember, you guys got to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Difference well. Come and learn. Peace. I'm out of here, y'all. <laughs> what if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustrations? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.